violence against their partners or ex-partners are high rates. We have one of the highest rates in Alberta. Calgary police have arrested and charged a man for the attempted murder of a woman after a domestic-related stabbing that happened here in southeast Calgary last week. Raising questions about whether we are seeing a rise in domestic violence incidents in the city. Data provided by Calgary Police Service shows between January and May this year, CPS received almost 1,600 calls for service involving violence, but during the same time span last year, received 68 more. Though these numbers show a decline in reported violence in the city, Fear Is Not Love CEO Kim Roos says on ground they have seen a rise in these incidents and the calls they get for help. Maybe things are, are slow at the police side, but on the ground, we're still seeing that our calls are slightly increased um, this year over last year. And we're also seeing the level of violence um, be, being quite concerning and a lot more use of weapons, I would say. U Calgary Associate Professor Lena Wells, who is also the Brenda Stafford Chair in the Prevention of Domestic Violence, says there are too many financial and political pressures on individuals these days but the worst is isolation. We all need supports and help, and we get that through our friends and family. We get it through formal supports like counseling, and that it's okay to reach out. And we really need to teach how kids and youth and families to have healthy conflict. In response to this latest stabbing in Corey Park, Calgary Police has also reached out to the public saying, Domestic violence is a complex problem that can only be addressed when everyone in the community works together to end it. They say abuse thrives in silence and Roos agrees. Men take a longer time to look for help. They look online first, um, which is why we built a digital strategy. Um, but there is like a two year window where men in particular are sort of checking things out. They're dropping hints with friends. They're looking online, but they're not actually saying I need help. Roos says they are dealing with the growing demand and budget constraints but for anyone fleeing a domestic violence situation, she asks them to call fear is not love and stresses there is no wait list for such victims and they are given assistance and shelter immediately. In Calgary, Hena Saeed, City News.